Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab. This is the second video in a short series that I've been working on for new Alexa developers who are also new to Node.js and or JavaScript. In the first video, I discussed the asynchronous nature of Node, which if you're just getting started with Node, in my opinion, is the first thing that you want to get familiar with and wrap your head around. The next thing that you want to be familiar with, however, is uh, how JavaScript variables work. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. And you would think that um, variables is not a big topic, but um, actually uh, there's a, a number of things that you want to understand if you're working with JavaScript. So uh, for starters, there are three ways that you can declare variables with JavaScript, three keywords, and they are let, const, and var. And I'm going to start um, by talking about the, the var keyword. And uh, I want to talk about some behavior that's kind of interesting first, and it's called variable hoisting. And um, let me just show you. So. I'm going to write some code here to, uh, let's see, uh, illustrate something that is kind of interesting, I think. Uh, so we'll call this name equals, and we'll set the value to Steve like this, and then I will use it again down here. Um, so I'm going to talk about this code real quick and then run it so you can see what happens, the behavior. So this, um, I'm using this variable name up here which doesn't get declared until line two and then i'm setting a value in line two when i declare it and then using it again on line three here this was interesting to me when i first got going with um, javascript or when i was first diving into it because the languages that i was familiar with if you did something like this it would throw an error because you typically can't use a, a variable until it's been declared but in javascript that's not the case so if we uh, run this here. Um, what do I call this example? I don't get an error. Uh, the first line it writes out here writes out is undefined because it hasn't been defined yet. It gets defined down here on line two or the value gets set on line two. So after the value has been set in line three, when I use it to log out, it logs out my name. This behavior again is referred to as variable hoisting and, and what's happening with the javascript interpreter is essentially the declaration gets moved to the top of the code scope so it ends up this doesn't happen where you actually see this happening it happens behind the scenes but effectively what you get is something that's more like this so this is what uh, what's happening so like if you run it you're gonna get the same thing the variable gets declared up here using the var keyword and then it's used first here with no value which is why it writes out undefined and then we set the value on line three and then use it again on line four and it writes out the name uh, my name here Steve um, so that is variable hoisting now let me talk about scope uh, and we're still talking about the var keyword right now but uh, something uh, let's see, we'll let's create a function and I'll call it um, get name. And I'm going to move this code, not all of it, let's see, we'll just move this in here like that. And then down here, I'll, I'll call the function get name. And we'll take a look at what happens in this case here. So I'm going to run the, the, uh, the code again. This time I get an error. And the reason that we're getting an error this time is because the, um, the variable hoisting still works or still applies, but, and I'll show you that, so I'm gonna move this up here. But the hoisting only happens within the code block where the variable is declared and that becomes its scope. So in here, if I comment this line eight out, which is throwing the error and run this again, um, it works. Uh, these are both undefined because I haven't set a value. If I move this up here. You'll see the second value will get written out like that. But I can't use the variable outside the scope where the declaration has been hoisted, where the variable declaration has been hoisted. So I can't use this name variable outside of, in this case, this get name function. 
Okay, so that is variable hoisting and scope for the var keyword. Now let's talk about the let keyword. And the syntax is exactly the same. The only difference is rather than using var, you're gonna use let, but the behavior is uh, different. And mostly the, the biggest difference is that there is no variable hoisting if you're using let. So if I just change that from var to let in this case and try to rerun this, I'm gonna get an error because I'm trying to use the name variable up here, but because I've declared that using the uh, let keyword and there is no variable hoisting, that's what's causing the error. Another, um, another difference in var and let is scope. So uh, they both, can't be used like I couldn't use the, the variable outside of the scope in this case the get name function but within the function if I use the var keyword um, uh, let's see how I can illustrate this so I'm going to create an if statement in here to illustrate this so I'm going to say if uh, if oh my gosh um, if arrived, if arrived, then we're going to, let's see, what are we going to do? We're going to do, we're going to take this and move it into this code block here, this if statement. And I'm going to take this now and I'm going to move it after the declaration, but outside of the if statement. So now my, uh, my code here is, um, uh, let's give it a try. So now this works fine uh, because I'm using the var keyword. So the var keyword, the, the hoisting happens and also uh, within a, uh, a code block scope that is a function, it can be used anywhere within that function that is not the case though with let. So if I change this from uh, var to let, I'm gonna get an error because with the let keyword, uh, the scope changes a little bit and gets uh, a bit more narrow. So within a function, if you use the let keyword to uh, declare a variable within an if statement or a code block within the function, it can't be used outside of that code block. So I can use it within the code block. So if I do this and run it, that works fine. Um, I'm using the variable after it was declared and within the scope uh, that is acceptable, in this case, the if statement. So all is good. And so that's the difference between var and let. Now let's take a look at const. And um, this, the, the const keyword, uh, again, syntax is the same. The const keyword, is pretty much exactly like the let keyword with one big difference being that you can't reset the value. So once it's set um, and you set it, like for example, uh, I'll, I'll declare it and set it to Bob. So if I'm using the const keyword and I do this, um, I'm gonna get an error because with the const keyword, you can't reset the value of it. Uh, if this was let, this would work fine. If this was var, this would work fine. But I can't do that with const. One kind of exception is that um, if you use const to uh, hold a object, to, and we'll just like do an example like a uh, first name. Uh, so if I do something like this, and then I do name dot first name equals Steve, and then I use that um, here, this will be fine because I'm not changing the value of the variable. I'm just changing a property 
within that object, in this case, um, the, the property for first name, if I actually tried to change the value of the variable, so if I tried to like say set name to like, um, I don't know, uh, let's just say like an empty object, this is gonna throw an error. Um, but I can manipulate the, uh, the object all I want. So if I go named uh, last name, for example, this will work fine. And then in here, let's go plus, plus name dot last, last name. And then this should work fine. And it does. And so that is it. That is um, JavaScript variables 101. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. I mean, this is something, it, it's, it, it doesn't seem like a big topic, but if you're not um, clear on how they're working, it can be pretty frustrating, especially when you try to debug uh, the, the var keyword with the kind of loose scope and the variable hoisting. In fact, I, I don't even use var keyword at all. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's probably good uses for it. I just don't know what they are. I mean, I, I think let and const came after var, so maybe a lot of it is backwards compatibility. But when you're um, creating or writing code for uh, um, for Alexa skills, you I, I don't use uh, I, I don't use var at all. So you can get everything done with let and uh, and const. Hopefully this was helpful and you have a better understanding of how JavaScript variables work. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those and I'll respond just as quickly as I can. If you found this video valuable, please like it and uh, subscribe to the Data Lab YouTube channel. Thanks so much.